Okay, Divine Feminines, what exactly can you do to help shift this energy? Because as we know that the Divine Feminine is leading energetically upon this entire journey. Okay, so the first card that flew out, and let me just say this, as I was shuffling the cards, it's like the cards kind of exploded, and then this card kind of got bent up, and then this was the card that came out so what that is saying is that you know tower moments will continue to happen until you do something okay it's not just the divine masculine it's also divine feminine that we have to do things energetically to help lead and what is that boundaries and discipline needs to be met there are some things that spirit has been guiding you to do within your daily life within your daily routine that you have to implement in order to continuously raise your vibration and maintain that grounded high vibration discipline needs to be met there are certain things that you have to do some type of routine some type of spiritual routine maybe this is a morning or night routine that is going to continue to get your energy grounded remember that your energy work is what's most important so what are you doing to maintain groundingness in your energy are you meditating are you praying are you journaling gratitude affirmations are you getting out in nature what exactly are you doing to ground your energy if you are not doing things to ground your energy this is what needs to be done right now divine feminine also focus more on being present focus more on being rather than doing as the divine feminine energy is shifting right now what you, Divine Feminine, need to focus on is less doing that masculine energy and more being, embodying, feeling grounded, feeling that that peace without having to do so much. Stop feeling as if you have to do in order to be worthy, but re recognize that you being, you are worthy enough. It's about feeling, it's about feeling worthy of love without having to perform and prove your love you just being present in your divine feminine energy is enough and having these boundaries within yourself of what you will allow and what you won't allow boundaries of not allowing the old you and the old patterns to continue in your life and continuing to set better boundaries for the new you for the new version of you you hear these birds calling they're <laughs> confirming this message okay so Continuing to set boundaries so that you move more into the new version of you and move away from the old version of you that's going to go back to those old habits and old patterns. Continue to be present. If you feel like everything is just all hazy and you feel like your mind is just going all over the place, that's a time for you to slow down and to just be. And when you are just being, the answers come to you. And that is how you graduate and elevate into the next level. You're not going to get the answers by scurrying around and distracting yourself. You're going to get the answers when you stay secluded. Okay, part two, Divine Feminines. Recognize that this is your divine counterpart. A lot of issues that I've been seeing is that some people are thinking like, oh, well, is this a karmic? Is this a false twin? Is this a this? Is this a that? Is this a this? That whole doubt of you doubting this whole situation is another thing that could possibly be, you know, creating blockages, creating stalling, creating you know issues because this situation this connection this journey requires your faith and if you are giving up hope if you are losing out on faith if you are having doubt whether this person is your divine counterpart or not that is what's going to affect them and they're going to start to think well is, is this person truly my my uh, divine counterpart because that's what you're thinking don't allow the doubt to get in your head yes this is yours yes this is your twin flame yes this is your divine counterpart you know this you've been knowing this since the very beginning why do we have to just keep telling you yes it is it's not going to be perfect it's not going to be all peachy king and rainbows no it's not but you know that this connection is powerful this is a, a divine counterpart this connection is powerful and you would not be holding on to this this connection with this soul if it was not okay next another thing you have to do is remember remember that you've been at this for many lives in previous lives you two did not come together in union this is why in this lifetime there is a strong urge for you to come together because you two coming together is for the elevation of this planet it is much bigger than you skip what those people say about oh you don't always end up with your twin flame you don't always know because that's a whole part of the mission that's all a part of the mission okay because let me tell you something, if you were actually a twin flame, you would recognize and realize that it's more important for the two of you to come together because all of that pain was not going to be in vain. But we have people out here that are not truly twin flames that are leading other people and saying like, oh, well, you're divine feminine, you're divine masculine, you don't always have to end up with them. No, bro. No. 
a lot of see all those people are trying to like speak on this now because it's trending but no the tr people that are truly on this twin flame journey know this is not for the week okay we don't want to hear that anyway continue to balance yourself continue to balance all of your chakras to get fully aligned it's to be upright okay continue to balance all of your chakras and align them so that your chakras are unblocked so that you have the ability and capability to um exert and elevate your energy elevate your consciousness elevate your spirit and elevate your entire frequency into the frequency of the 5d the frequency of where the union is this is about balance this is about the internal work this is about the spiritual balance the temperance the pouring into your spirit and as you continue to pour into your spirit that your your soul is going to be elevated get those chakras aligned unblock those chakras most importantly stay optimistic stay optimistic this goes back into not doubting what you feel not doubting what you know stay optimistic that this very thing can happen this union can happen and next step divine feminines is to meditate to meditate okay get yourself into a meditative state whether this is outdoors whether this is indoors whatever works best for you get yourself into a meditative state get yourself into a sort of trance okay where you are fully present with your soul and with your higher self okay eliminate all distractions do not focus too much on your flesh and your body focus more on your soul and what your soul is trying to tell you there are many downloads and information that you will get and receive through meditation this is going to talk about new opportunities for financial gain this will tell you of new things that you can do and what you can implement within your career following your mission work and your purpose of how you can put in this work to have this financial boon. This is going to be like a boon within your finances. You following these steps that your higher self is telling you is going to create so much financial. It's, it's going to create a financial windfall for you. You must meditate to receive this answer. Be present with yourself so you can receive what exactly it is telling you. Now, this new financial opportunity is going to require you to be more independent. This is something that you will start solely on your own. You yourself and your independence will do whatever opportunity, work, career opportunity, mission work, whatever this is for you to earn money, earn your income, energy work. You are to start this by yourself okay you are to start this solely by yourself and when you continue to take those necessary steps in your everyday life of creating your own work routine your own career path this is what's going to really catapult you into the next level and the more that you go towards this next level the more in the more intuitive downloads and guidance and wisdom you will receive the more you walk this path you have to walk a little further to receive more information you want more information now but it's requiring you to walk it's requiring you to take some necessary steps it's requiring you to be in your full independent energy and go after this mission work and know that you yourself and me myself and i you can do this they are also telling you to have fun celebrate celebrate how far you've come celebrate how much work you have been putting on yourself and how much you have overcome of everything that you have been through celebrate yourself and add some humor to the situation laughter is the best medicine laugh things off laugh at how how things used to be and how much you've overcome sometimes you got to just laugh at it to make yourself feel better because there are many things going on behind the scenes that you do not know that are happening within the 5d so that they can shift within the 3d everything is changing and happening and